Be good. And it's everywhere. Oh, that's a mage. This ain't good. You made me do, man. And to kill a man. sure my audio is still working thanks to not work for the stream for some times I do see like that do not connect showed you were connecting crashed weird
Archer Captain. And some good stuff on him. You, wait a moment. Cardinal Borla, Borla Maku at the temple wanted to see you. He said he wanted to talk to you about taking down those bandits in the marsh. Borla Maku? I'm going home first, man. It's been a long trip. Investigation is in progress. What's going on? Listen to me. There was a murder. A missionary from the Holy Mission killed a disciple in broad daylight. Until the matter is resolved, the accused will remain in the custody of Damien Lockwell. If you have further questions, speak with Eleonora. Who is the suspect? Hmm. The woman with body parts made of light, Oliel, I think her name is. Wait, Oliel? I don't believe that. Oh, no. We have about eight witnesses who testify that she did it. Most of them claim it was self-defense. But Damien Lockwell has ordered us to treat it like a murder while we investigate. How can I help you? Listen to me. Wait. How can I help you? Listen who's, to me. Who's the victim? Richard. He was one of the newer disciples of the Holy Mission. Wouldn't stop being a preachy git at the inn ever since he got promoted. He's just gotten back from a trip to Sirocco before this happened. We kind of already heard about this, didn't we? That they were going to send someone. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. I think we heard, like, the we got a note or something that was, like, the other side of this that they were sending this person. Yeah. Greetings, friend. What can I do for you? Yeah, couples are 30 each.
That dagger sells for 600. Like we made the right choice. Morning Star 240. need to find that backstab per <laughs> Boots alone give you a 15% movement speed boost. I don't know why I'm not using these boots. <laughs> the Brutal Great Axe, tw Alpha Tuano Sword, something. Um, Tails. It's crazy that knife has the same impact as that axe. <laughs> No, we haven't gotten those yet. Thirteen resist or seven resist, but a really good move speed buff. so fast now. Fuck yeah, I'm wearing these boots. <laughs> I don't know why I wasn't just wearing these. There's all these shittier daggers. I don't know. I, I kind of want to hang on to that dagger for now unless we're really strapped for cash. Cause... Or we really want to get it a skill. If we get that backstab perk, that dagger would be godly. I'm gonna sell this broad dagger. Brutal club. I got the good maces. It's time for me to get that other backpack, too. Fire Rogue, yeah. Ditch the shield.
Okay, I don't know what you can do with this mushroom, but... Got so much gems and shit. <laughs> got lots of money. The tribal favor. I feel like I'm just gonna carry that on me. It's only point one. I don't know if it's gonna be needed for something at some point, but I feel like it maybe might happen. The writ the tribal favor, like the thing we turned in at the beginning. Yeah, it's an actual item. We can sell it. That's what I got. We got for uh, rescuing Risa. Yeah, the beginning of the game, the same thing we traded instead of paying for a lighthouse. We got that for saving Risa, yes. We got them from both. We got a second one now. That's what I'm saying. Yes, it was an item. It could have been sold as well. For not nearly as much of the value. Specifically remember it because it didn't sell for anywhere near the value. I get rid of all these potions. <clears throat> Some of them I should just sell. I'm never going to use, like, ten stealth potions. It's potions for sure, but all the resistance stuff seems very good to hang on to. Yeah, I don't know. We can just pop them and lose aggro. Or do it to, like, res. Yeah, true. That gives me two extra pouch slot, too. some damn bandies on me again. Here, I got a greasy ferns ghost eye for alchemy. All our food rotted away. It's been days.
So I've got some spice beetles. Make a bunch of teas. said that just a little bit earlier <laughs> made mineral tea out of them and give you some if you need it Two mineral teas. Oh, you know, what? I have a survivor elixir on me, but is that only burnt stamina? Restores stamina and burnt stamina. Provides protection from hot and freezing environments. <laughs> Would have been great for that cave. Forget I have these things. For occasions like that, too. Some of that soothing tea, too. I have tea pre made. What do I have here? A 10 pre made bitter spicy tea. <laughs> Potions, thank you. you. Need soothing tea. There. Drop three. Overweight. Oh, the life potions. Greater life potions. I didn't know they either were that OP. Healed all that shit. Wool shroom works like a stealth potion too. So many spice beetles, I'm getting them like crazy.
What can I do for you? It's gonna go bad before I can use it. Do you need crimp nuts, greasy ferns, or live weedy for anything? I'm about to sell it. the grids. for spice beetles. I have 14 of them. I'm just going to make them all into teas at this point. Eh, maybe I can keep them. At least 10 will last a bit. Both four. Spice or the it's just that and live weedy water. Survivor elixirs are the same thing, but with crystal powder added. That's alright. I crafted and you get three at a time. A lot.
Is there something you need? You think I should get the Philosopher one too? Thought Philosopher wasn't really... I don't know, I thought I was gonna stick Sword and Shield this run. Dagger really do make me want to use it though. Greetings, friend! Greetings, friend. Curious. Greetings, friend. Sigil of Ice. Also, this philosopher, like half of it, relies on using chalk rams. Increases fire damage you inflict by 15%. I know you don't, as it seems a little bit of a waste. Sigil of Ice, though. Hey there. Oh, the skills are expensive. I don't know, I thought you were gonna be the mage. I thought I was gonna mostly stick melee. I don't know about Philosopher yet, though. <clears throat> I did backstab to really make that dagger worth it. Greetings, friend! Without any dagger skills, the dagger kind of sucks.
No, it'd be a nice... You can get three breakthroughs. It'd be nice to start investing in some of this shit now. Cave is off the beaten path. This is literally right next to the town. What do you mean? <clears throat> Could do that on the blue collective playthrough or whatever. Yeah, but what happens when we get a monsoon to Brassar Desert quest? Where, which way do you think we're gonna go, man? <laughs> I don't know. I think it's. I think the quests are gonna send you back and forth and all around. And like on another playthrough, we'd literally be going right to Berg at the beginning, and that place is literally right next to the town. I don't know. <clears throat> Could be something that we go and get early on. We just literally need to kill some fire and ice creatures and a wendigo. And get a sick dagger. I want to use it, but we need, like, backstab. Without backstab, like, I literally can't even use the dagger. Like, it, it needs a skill to be used, right? So the dagger, all I can do is do that shitty little slash with it. Which, I guess is kind of the same as attacking, but just doesn't feel as effective. It's kind of hard to hit with, it's slow. The backstab and the other skills, like, he, there's probably a trainer that's all focused on daggers. That would be... Need whatever that is to focus into it. I mean, I already have all these shield focus things in them. I don't know, I, I kind of like being able to just instantly stagger and knock things over. But either way, without that backstab perk, like that dagger's just not going to be that good. As good as it seems. Or without skills in general. Like, I'm sure there's other skills besides backstab as well. We need to get to that trainer to make it have any value. I really want to use it, but... We have four playthroughs and I'm already, like, kind of half into one-handers and shields. Kind of got the defensive, like, build kind of half set up. I guess they're all cheap, whatever skills, but... I don't know. This mace is pretty badass, man. 
50 impact, 24 damage, 24 frost damage. I'm thinking of switching off swords and going maces now. <laughs> Skillenberg. Well, like I said, I'm sure we're gonna pass by there again anyway. I can't remember where that was. I think it was in Berg. The dude in the blue temple. Or actually, maybe it was Zephyrin's friend and shit. Zephyrin's dead. Hopefully, it wasn't him, right? I think it was Saurian. Maybe. But I don't know, man. I think I might, uh... I might just stick with the shield. I mean, I could probably sacrifice one keybind to switching from sh shield to dagger or something, but for all the one-handed weapons, yeah. Hey there. I don't know, this warrior monk tree sounds really good to me for what I've been doing so far. 40 maximum stamina, perfect strike, any melee weapon. You do need to have the discipline boon up, but it, it ignores all defenses and inflicts pain. It's like a better version of the one that I've been using. Except the one I've been using is only for swords. <laughs> and then I also have another one that attacks all enemies within a close distance with increased damage and impact. But it consumes my discipline buff. But then I also have counter strike. Completely block a physical attack. Striking the attacker and dealing high damage. And then I also get increased resistances, impact resist, and damage resist while having the discipline buff up. It's gonna cost so much money, I should just keep banking. But, and I want 40 extra stamina. Even the mana regen does sound pretty nice, but I guess I should just wait at least one more mission where we go to the desert and see what their trainers are. to some of these peoples. I'm so fast with these shoes, dude. There we go. <laughs> It's just the shoes. Yeah, just the shoes alone give you a 15% movement speed boost. Seriously? Thank a lot, you're back. When news reached me that Levant attacked Berg and that Zephyrin was killed, I feared the worst. The Wait, how did they know Zephyrin was killed? Zephyrin was killed, but didn't give any details. Oh, the Cardinal? What happened to him? Oliel said that he'd gone missing and you went to look for him. He was being consumed by corruption from a poison bullet by the time I found him. Even a lat couldn't save him. A lat's breath? Why? Why would someone do this? I don't want to believe Sirocco would stoop so low. But I don't see anyone else with motive to attack the holy mission. 
Things aren't well here in Monsoon either. Oliel was arrested. Lockwell has her locked up in a room in his house. Details are thin at the moment, but he he's accused her of murder. Oliel a murderer? I doubt that very much. Damn it. His refusal to speak with us about it is even more stern than usual. With the news that Zephyrin was assassinated, I have to wonder if Oliel's imprisonment is another move against the Holy Mission. I can only hope. You knew Oliella when she was in Sierzo. You can use that to make Lockwell listen to you. Speak to him not as a member of the Holy Mission, but rather as a concerned friend, and maybe you can reach him. And who else do we have to we have to talk to Cardinal Burlamain? Monsoon's temple. My thanks. We need to talk about that trouble in the swamp. My thanks. Wish to thank you for dealing with those who are who are kidnapping and bringing harm to our people. You done well. Well done, Jim. The zeal with which you pursued justice for our fallen comrades, and with which you protected the marsh, in, is admirable. You have earned my blessing. Three survivor elixirs and a recipe for it. Yeah, that was the that was the holy missions parallel quest. Want some of these? Probably already know this, but Let's sell it. We talked to a lot. Oh yeah, the mace, Soren. How can I help you? I thought we were supposed to tell him something for Zephyrin. Two-handed maces. Powerful juggernaut strike. You should probably learn that now. Is that what you're using? Yeah, and yeah, I'm pretty sure it is, man. I don't think there is an actual, like, two-handed mace. This falls under that category. There's two-handed axes, two-handed maces, and two-handed swords. As far as I know. Yeah. And then spears, I guess. I don't know. I wonder. I think that should be considered two handed mace for sure. says two-handed hand of legend. Can we talk to a lat? Probably not, but No. 
Okay, I complete the parallel quest for the holy mission. Blessings, blessings of Ilat upon you. Oh yeah, we gotta deliver that letter to the merchant. That's free money. I wonder if we get another quest to just deliver another letter. Probably just repeats. When was the general merchant again? This guy? How can I help you? You've earned this. Medium ruby. How can I help you? have my thanks. How can I help you? Some of those quests off our log. Let's go talk to Damien. Let's see what's going on. If this is about that woman I locked up, I'm not changing my mind. Till my investigation is complete, she does not leave that cell. I'm here as her friend. We grew up together. I'm worried about her treatment here. Unfortunately, that doesn't change the fact that she's here under suspicion of murder. You just have to wait until we're done our investigation. If it turns out it really was self-defense, we'll let her go. I can bribe him with silver. Or I can threaten him. Let her go now or else. Or else... What? You honestly think you can threaten a chamber lord? You really want to anger the god that was able to destroy the scourge? And do you really believe that he would dare ruin his precious image? Doesn't need to. He could use this incident as a reason to revoke his protection over Monsoon and let the Scourge punish you instead, or we are all important to him. Punishing one Chamber Lord for overstepping his bounds wouldn't be out of line for him. I'm gonna say the second one, fuck it. And I don't think he would. Consider your bluff called. I beg Shit. your pardon? Your threats don't scare me. I'm not going to let her go. I'm not going to forget what you said to me. You've made a very powerful enemy today. <laughs> if this is about that woman, I... Unfortunately, that... Are you trying to bribe me? I suggest you think very hard about that decision. Ah. Uh, what does it say? Are other options there in the journal? <laughs> Give enough coin to Lockwell to free Oleo. If this is about that woman, I unfortunately... Are you trying to bribe me? I suggest you think very hard about that decision. <laughs> no. Better not be 200 gold. 
If this is about that woman, I unfortunately, are you trying to bribe me? Hundred silver should cover a bail, right? About that decision. Have you lost your mind? Why would I agree to this? Ah, uh, he's gonna want two hundred. If this is about that woman, I are you trying to bribe me? I think suggest it, you think very hard about that decision. Think of the improvements to Monsoon you could make with 200 silvers. Hmm. Alright. I'll take it. Piece of shit. I'll forget you bribed me this time, but I won't forget you. Take her and get out! The evidence was pretty clear anyway. She killed that disciple in self-defense. <laughs> take her and Get out. Yeah, he just fucking ripped us off, man. Much obliged. Thank you, Jim. I was worried things would get a lot worse. What happened? This worries me. I was speaking with some friends about it. Then one of the older disciples attacked us. He said it he said it was heresy to question a lad's divinity fought back to defend my friends. I tried to defend him. It was an accident, no. I swear. I picked him up and threw him at a wall. These arms of light are strong, too strong. I broke his neck. It was an accident, I swear. I... I found something in the Berg archives. I've always been taught that a lad came from the Hollowed Marsh. He's actually from Abyssar. His family was... His family was from Old Levant. They were in very deep with the Cabal of Winds. His ascension and the arrival of the Scourge, they were nearly at the same time. I think there may be a connection between Alat and the Scourge and the Cabal of Winds. I have to wonder if Alat himself was the source of the Scourge. Is he even the same man he was before his ascension? Or is he something else who took the man's name? I'm going to the Abrasa Desert. I don't feel safe going back to Monsoon. Not with Lockwell and Alat there. I need to dig up more of Alat's past and maybe the truth. Going back to Monsoon, you're here. I say if you think you need to go ahead let me know if you find the truth you're looking for or after revelations like that I understand that makes me wonder too is there like the same thing the other one is pretty much ragging her about abandoning her duty people are gonna die now is not the time to go digging in the past three <laughs> <laughs> kind of want to know the answers too, man. I wonder. I'll let you know what I find when I come back. Thank you. Farewell, my friend. I guess it's goodbye for now, Jim. I hope we meet again before long. I honestly think she would have done it anyway. She would have just been pissed at us. <laughs> we gotta get that to Sarstone, man. Tell Elanara about Oliel's freedom. Do you need? I got Oliel out. She's running away to Aversar for a while. That may be for the best. 
Even if you managed to resolve things with Lockwell, I wouldn't trust the man's word at this point. Thank you for looking out for her. Well done, Jim. How can you say well done? Zephyrin is dead and Oliel ran away to Aversar. Oliel must find her own answers. I will place my faith in her. Though I worry what she might discover, <laughs> I have faith that the best interests of Araya are in her heart. What about the disciple she killed? Some of them have become complacent in their faith. After I chose Richard to become a disciple, he became dogmatic. He preferred to follow the letter of the faith, but not the heart. Despite my repeated warnings, his pride grew too large, and it cost him his life. Couldn't you just take away his promotion if he was no longer worthy of it? If only I could. But once I bestow my power on someone, I can no longer take it back. Not without killing them. Even gods are capable of mistakes, and when we do, the consequences are never pleasant. <sighs> Such is the curse of divinity. I can impact the world greatly, but every move is dangerous, and the moment it's out of my hands. With Zephyrin gone, things will only get harder. Couldn't you have saved Zephyrin like you saved Oliel? The poison that he was struck with contained more than just that. Held corruption so strong that even I could only slow its progress through Zephyrin's body. It was all I could do to keep him alive until you arrived. I bestow my blessing upon you. There is great danger in our future. I will bestow upon you a blessing. The better protect you and those you care for. Take what you believe you will make most effective. <clears throat> Choose between two blessings. My spiritual communion increases the power of your ethereal, decay, and light abilities or gain my divine assistance, which shall let you fight and cast spells with more ease. Hmm. I assume even if I let you talk to the dude, it's probably going to give it to me. With all this stuff, yeah, hopefully. I probably divine assistance, maybe fight and cast spells, infuse light. I think. I don't know. Nah, not yet. <laughs> I don't really have a lot of mana. Adds lightning damage to the melee weapon, yeah. Makes a weapon a useful light source. Consumes your blessed boon. How do you even get the blessed boon? Oh, yeah, yeah. I guess I'll get the first one. Well met, Fred. That may be for the best. Well done. Hopefully they're passive. Yeah, they're white priest robes.
increases ethereal lightning and decay damage you deal by 10%. Oh, we got a pet, dude. Not for this, for killing the lich. You want these robes? Why you got your robes in your legacy chests? We'd have to beat the game in your your thing too for that. What? Need the key to open a car the door on a new character. Oh, yeah, you just set them like a. I don't know, this shit's confusing. You didn't take the key. Oh, that's an annoying ass pet to look at. Is Bob? How's this guy? Just some guy from my stream just stream sniping, come grab the key. <laughs> You'd have to beat the game for the thing to upgrade, though, no? It just needs to be passed down. I don't know, man. This game's got a lot of weird shit going on. Well, you figure that shit out.
Wait three days for another task. Let's try to find that ghost or something. Music change. This is alertness level. What's this feather dodge one? Lowers stamina cost of dodging by 50% and allows you to dodge unimpeded while wearing a backpack. I don't know. Let's just go try to find that ghost and get some food. <clears throat> I 
I'm just hanging on to stuff that I might use and like different elemental stuff. Yeah, it's probably worth depoting some of the good weapons and armor. I've just been hanging on to unique stuff, like, that has, like, special names. I just sell the shit when I get better stuff. I don't know, I'm not too worried about min-max and everything. I like doing things perfectly the first playthrough. Once we get through the first playthrough, we'll know all the things and... What to do and what to don't. I'm tempted to go switch to like daggers and use fire magic and shit, but then again, like, I don't know. Why not just do that on another playthrough? We're gonna do more. We can always bank the dagger and transfer it over, right? And then we could go and get backstab right off the get go. Think about how easy that playthrough would be. Literally just go get backstab from Bendeville, go get imprisoned, get backstab, get the dagger. Rune Sage is good. I don't know what any of that means. <laughs> is that the runic shit that we've seen there? Lexicon shit. And Berg, yeah. I could maybe do that. I really like that warrior monk one, I won't lie. I'd have to figure something out for mana regen. I, I don't know if I want to go full philosopher just for that, but like philosopher might be worth going for that fire dagger build though. Maybe on another run. But I don't know if I want to go philosopher. That seems, I don't know if that's the investment I want to do. Uh oh, internet, please don't die again. Might get booted. Oh, no, it survived. I think we, we have the dagger. We can transfer it over and bank it and bring it back, right? Just start another run with that, man. We'll get backstab at the prison off the bat. I think I might try Warrior Monk, though, as my first one. I don't know. Extra 40 stamina seems really good for tanking and just in general. It's it's constantly a struggle for me. <laughs> like all my current abilities that I use, use a bunch of my stim. So it, it focuses all around the discipline buff, like buffing my attack power. Physical attack power. 
but uh, I have an attack that pierces through, completely pierces through enemy armor, like defense, and inflicts pain. It's like an upgraded version of the strike that inflicts pain that I've been using the whole time, but can be used with any melee weapon, not just swords. And then it has a an attack that hits all enemies around me for high damage and impact, but it consumes the discipline buff when I do it. And then I have counterattack, which is like, it also goes in hand with like the shield defensive one. I block an attack and I counter it, doing high damage. I don't know, it just kind of plays in really well to all the shit I've already been doing. It gives me a bunch of melee attacks, basically. Spellblade was in Sierzo, wasn't it? I, I need a way for mana, though. I don't really have any way to regen mana. Like, using magic, I just run out right away. It's good for, like, buffs and stuff, but I can't, like, combat at the moment. Yeah, but that's it's gonna be a lot of pots to go through. A lot of weight. <laughs> Yeah, I know. My armor look like I can't... Looks like potato in some spots. The lighting. Is warrior monk like a bad one that nobody recommends or some shit? I thought Spellblade wasn't a very good one. It's a Sierzo one, right? I seen there was one that reduces all skill cooldowns. I don't know what alert level is though. What does that even mean? Stuff your alertness level it said.
It's a status effect related to the speed screw skill tree. Taking a hit from an enemy will drop your alert level. Interesting. So many ads on these Wikipedia pages. Speedster has a passive that you can buy without going into the breakthrough that increases your stamina by 25. This is an interesting one. Speedster tree. Exclusive to the Sora Beans DLC. See, I don't know. I'd have to go to fucking DLC for that one. That also seems like a weird one to go into. First playthrough. Pressure plate traps. <laughs> yeah, I'll be doing, I'll do Rogue Engineer another playthrough. Steadfast Aesthetic. Oh yeah, that's the warrior monk. Hunters, garbage, swift foot. A mercenary. Oh, there's so many ads on these. <laughs> It's like all pistol stuff, it looks like. I 
This does have shield stuff though. Why would there be a shield skill in the same tree as a pistol? Sage trainer. <clears throat> I mean, I could go one point and then go sage. One point of mana. Get the 40 extra mana from them. The ruins seem like a lot of work, though. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna have to like learn so much or memorize so many combos. Sacred fumes. You have to deploy totems. <laughs> Some of this shit is like what? <laughs> Two of these are part of DLC. What did the Spellblade should give you again? Pieces resistant. No. Use frost. Strike your weapon on your shield, removing the elemental infusion. A spell blade wouldn't be so bad. You're gonna spec into that just for infuse fire. Consumes your warm boon, your cool boon. You need to have these boons active. Use this. Is Primal Ritualist part of DLC though? Like, it kind of seemed like it. I think I should just get Warrior Monk for now and figure out the other two later. It seems like some of these are like, I don't know, gonna be end game shit.
Mercenaries, the pistol one. I don't know if that's worth it, though. I don't know why... Yeah, I don't know why it's all... Pistol stuff, and then one shield thing. You'd have to swap, though. I don't like the sound of having to swap. I think I'd rather be, like, a buffy, tanky shield guy, maybe. Like, I have some magic, but it's mostly for buffing and... The occasional thing. It's either the pistol or the shield. It's either or. What do you mean? I looked at all the skills. You can only choose one? Hey, that. Oh, really? Oh. Oh. That kind of changes things. I need offensive capabilities, though. Oh, so I see. That's why. I was gonna say, like, why would we both go Spellblade? Couldn't you just get both of them? But yeah, it makes more sense, I guess. You do have to have the boon up, though. Do that. Which I guess we do have, though, I think. For those infused skills, you need to have the warm or cool boon up. I have the cool boon, I guess. To use infuse skills. My dude needs food. Greetings, friend. Mercenary shield ability. Would show me the
Yeah, the blocking the elemental attacks would be pretty nice. 60 second cooldown. Movement speed increase. Yeah, mercenary would be good. Cabal Hermit? Uh. The effects of boons on you are increased. Increase the impact and attack speed of your melee weapons for three minutes. Infuse wind. Dude, I might go fucking Cabal Hermit. Ball Hermit and Mercenary. I don't know what my third would be though. Better to leap on Hunter Tree. Hunter Tree, I don't know. It's kind of garbage. Yeah. The Cabal one would increase, like, with boons active, it would increase all my resistances. And shit more. The effects of boons are increased. So I'd have high thingy, and then I could use Infuse Wind to, uh... Increase impact and attack speed. And then I also think you get to conjure, like you get to be like a necromancer. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I want some damage. I'm just... Trying to figure out what to work around. Hey there. I feel like with shields, you really want warrior monk. I don't know. Hunter ain't that bad.
Guess it ain't that bad. Sage, just go pure melee this run. Hey there. I don't know if I should get the passive impact resist and shit, or if I should get perfect strike and rely on other skills for... Or get the, uh, buff rather and rely on other skills for offensive. Seemed like the wild hunter tree would be the... Mostly of the offensive stuff, right? Perfect strike isn't a gap closer. <clears throat> Just doesn't, it ignores all armor and inflicts pain. Those wild hunter perks, so uh. is there something you need? to buy food or something <laughs> I need to sleep but I also need food I can probably pick the berries hey there need a 
o'clock is old man hour. <laughs> Alright, my dudes. I think we're a caller here for tonight. Tomorrow we'll continue on to the third mission. I'm gonna grab a bit to eat. I might be back in a bit. I don't know. We'll see. I might try to keep my sleep schedule fixed, but. Alright, homies. Peace out. Take her easy. <laughs>